What's up guys, Max here, and today I'm going to show you how to make really simple materials for Cinema 4D. So when you have your Cinema 4D open, you see this, you can see this uh, whole area called materials. Yeah, it has materials right here. So what you need to do to create a new material is uh, double click on this area, or you can just go to file and press new material or control N. So when you have this new material, you have to double click it and that's going to open its properties or as they call it material editor. So so first of all, most people have been wondering uh how uh people have this these knots and these objects object looking materials or you'll understand what I mean. So um here's how to do do that do it so um you have to right click on your on this sphere which you have right here and if you wanna want that cool thing uh see like this you have to go to double torus maybe you can go to not if you want to like this you can go to object if you want to like this so these are the most popular ones people use so i'm gonna I'm gonna use this one now. So what you need to do first, you're just gonna I'm gonna make a cool metal metal texture. So go ahead and go on color and you see your texture. It says textures and, and then a couple of dots here and you have to go up press this arrow and go to load image. So when you load the image you just find your texture hopefully you have some textures I was counting on that you have so you go to your textures mm -hmm. and I have two metal textures for this tutorial so um, I'm gonna open this one up and just go to no here and you see you'll, ha you'll have this like this um, it kinda changes the second of all uh, is you need to have reflection I mean you don't need to have it but most Cinema 4D uh, materials have uh, reflection at about 20% because that's that make th makes them look more glossy. But I'm gonna make this one 15%. It really depends on what y what do you want, what you want it to be like. Do you want it to be more like look like a mirror, or do you want it to look like really, really, really solid? I mean, like. It, like it almost doesn't have any reflection so I'm gonna have it on 20 right here or maybe I can put it on 15 uh, it's hard to decide so um now you're gonna go to Fresnel and you double click on that and oh never mind sorry that's what that was wrong that was wrong god damn it undo undo um Wait, what was I supposed to? Um, I think you go to filter. Yes, you go to filter. And you can put your contrast like more uh, or less depending on what you want it. Um, nope, that's actually, you have to go to color to do that. So go to color and put it on filter and when you, you're in filter you can look, make your contrast a lot like this or you can make it whoops you can make it like really not contrasty at all <laughs> or whatever so but I'm gonna put it on about like um, depending on what you actually on what you like it so I'm gonna put it on 20 percent and you can play with the gamma so you can make it lighter, whoops, you can make it darker, you know, yeah, um, but I'm not gonna do anything with the gamma right now, so yeah, then you can go to bump, S and you can go here, uh, go to copy channel, and go to bump, and paste channel, so it's it looks like more realistic if you understand what I mean and uh, yeah you can make it I don't know you can play with it again play with everything um, yeah 
that's basically it I think yes it is actually wait let me see if it is yeah you have to put you need to if you want you can put it on Fresnel so that was actually correct when I was doing that but you, if you put it on Fresnel see you have this I don't know how to call that but it ha you have it looking a lot cooler so I'm gonna put the Fresnel on something like I don't know 30 or something because it makes it look cool I mean you can put it on like this much you can put it 100% or whatever but I'm gonna make it all right 40 no actually 30 so 25 alright so we have that um yeah you can make the strength a little harder a little stronger so um I'm gonna make it 40 instead of 20 and yeah you have a realistic um m metal texture material whatever so now you can just um go to MoGraph use some text let's say max whoops max make it 100 use a cooler font like perfect dark um yeah just set up the stage first the yeah the room whatever second and you have it see this uh then you just drag the material onto it and it looks like this now the problem is you can it's great and, and you only have it uh looking like a material here if you see what i mean so what you need to do is click on this uh material here that's the material you dragged onto it and go to projection and put it on cubic I like it either cu either cubic so see what it looks like on cubic it's either cubic or may maybe sometimes I use frontal for some reason most people don't but I I really like the way it looks like on frontal see it's pretty nice check it out see I think that it's actually I think that sometimes it's a lot better than cubic but yeah that's just my opinion so um you can see how I have this like line right here um uh so that's because the texture ends here and that's like it kinda makes it look bad so uh, Cinema 4D has an option to stop that or at least try to stop that so you can go to seamless and if you put it on seamless you get rid of the line see and uh... you can also go to offset u and offset v so you can move it if you go to offset u then it's going to move it to the left and to the right and if you go to offset uh... v it's going to move it up and down so yeah you can see what what suits you the best which like yeah you can just play with that and you see now we have a really nice looking uh metal texture so uh, i hope you like this tutorial if you did and if it r helped you be sure to like the video please because it really helps and oh by the way you can go to fillet caps put it go to caps and put it on fillet caps just so it looks better and yeah, um, if this video helped, if you liked it, whatever, please like it on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, maybe favorite it, whatever, every every of those things if you're a really cool person. So, if this video gets uh, five likes, I'm, I'm going to uh, make a tutorial on how to render <coughs> Cinema 4D uh, pictures and uh, clips, like intros. <coughs> both without I mean uh I'll do two separate tutorials one for f for pictures and one for uh videos so in the pictures one you'll have uh with or and without background so you'll have it either black or white background or without background so you c it's really good for for YouTube 
like when you're making stuff you don't really need a background and don't want to get rid of that it saves you the time so yeah I hope this video gets five likes so I'm gonna make the tutorial and I hope that you liked it finally like the video subscribe favorite it and see ya